Sonic Fade Rider. Today we're going to be doing a review on the BTI V6 1200M Bluetooth intercom system. So first, when I was looking at a Bluetooth intercom system, I looked at, the, for example, the Cena 10S unit. That one unit would run me 350 Canadian dollars. Um, me and actually all my buddies were going to go ahead and buy the same kind of units, and I didn't really feel comfortable spending that much money, and neither did my friends on some Bluetooth intercom units. So I looked for alternatives. I found this unit from eBay and AliExpress, really great reviews, for $65 each. It comes in a package of two, so $130, so that's shipped and taxes in, really good value right off the bat there. So you're looking at significantly less of a price as something else. And so I'll walk you through some of the features of this product. So if you look at the intercom unit itself, you can see that on the outer edges, you're gonna have your rider connection. So those are your four rider connections, plus your main rider connection, which is that big motorcycle button right in the middle of the unit, and you're the sixth unit, uh, sixth rider. So those are your rider connections. You have your volume up and down controls here, and you have your phone button. Now. It doesn't have full duplex communication. So what I mean by that, it's not like a group chat where you're all talking at the same time. This means that you can only connect and talk to by intercom one person at a time. So if I wanted to talk to my buddy Joe, for example, I would click his rider communication button. It would link up to him. We'd be able to talk and me or him could end the communication. So that's the six rider feature on this. It comes with full Bluetooth 3.0, so you can be streaming your music, having your GPS, make phone calls, all of your phone. I paired it up with my Galaxy S6, phenomenal. Worked completely fine, um, no stuttering, no problems, and great range. Now, another thing with the Bluetooth, it's got a 1200 meter range. I've actually tested this, took out my buddies for a spin, um, and we didn't have any problems. We actually got one kilometer um, without any obstructions, just a straight road ahead, and we had clear communication over the intercom. Highway, we'll get some testing on that too, like with the wind noise and everything. Yeah. So right now you're clear to me like like day. And you know what's really phenomenal about this? The speakers and the microphone, really great quality that's included with this. I'm actually really shocked. We actually had our visors up, wind blowing through our helmets and into our face, and we didn't really hear any wind noise coming from each other's microphones. It does come with the wind cancellation, which is really good, so the microphone is gonna be picking up all that buffeting from the wind, and I was really impressed with the quality of the microphone. Actually, when I was doing a comparison between the microphone on this headset versus the microphone on my Samsung S6, the people told me on the other end I was much clearer on this unit in my helmet talking to them than I were to be talking to them on my phone. So speaking for the speaker quality on this, um, very comfortable speakers. They had great bass, mids and highs. Now obviously they're not comparable to some expensive headsets, but for what you could expect on a helmet, I'm very pleased with it. Very loud, which is the other good thing. So you do have the adjustability with the volume on this unit itself here. But I felt like I was going 110 kilometers. Even with the face shield up, I could hear my music fine. I could hear the other guy in the intercom fine. I can make my phone calls fine and I could hear everything perfectly with earplugs in. So it's actually really loud, which is really good. So on the phone button, if you double tap, for example, it'll up open OK Google on your Android device or Siri on your iPhone device. So you can say, hey, Siri or OK Google, get me directions to the Raptors game or take me to McDonald's if you'd like so be. Um, so that's really neat, really good feature. If you hold down the button for two seconds, it'll redial your last called phone number. Let's say you're receiving a call and it's ringing five times, it'll automatically answer the phone call for you. And if you don't want to answer to your special other, all you have to do is hold the button for two seconds, it will automatically reject the call. So let's talk about battery life now. This is rated for nine hours of talk time battery life. I actually haven't charged this since I started using it. Um, Phenomenal battery life from what I've already just encountered. I've uh, been using it a bunch of times outside, just testing random things, playing music through it, all that, showing this review on, um, and it hasn't failed anything yet. So it's quite good battery life from what I've experienced in my short term with it. I'm really impressed with that, um, so that's really good. So this is waterproof. They've actually redesigned this for 2015, so it's completely sealed in here, so you're not gonna have a problem with water entering the unit and destroying it. They've really done a really good job with this unit. It feels like, and it's all soft touch plastic, so none of this is like hard plastic. It's all really soft touch. The buttons are really tactile. I really like the build quality of the unit, the speakers, and the microphone. 
So installation for this was a breeze. Comes with a clip. Um, we've actually put it on uh, eight of my buddy's helmets and they're all different brands, Shoei, HJC, Chaos, Bell, all worked perfectly fine. No damage gets done to the helmet. It's easily removable as well. So installation was definitely 10 out of 10. So these are all really great things. And you're thinking, Canadian Rider, there's gotta be a downside to this. There's no way, and there is. But it's a downside I didn't see coming and it's only until I actually started using the device I found out like, hey, this is a downside. The buttons are really small on this unit. So you're thinking, you're looking at it, oh no, the buttons are here and you're looking at it and you can press it. That's good, but when you're on your motorcycle, you can't see the buttons. And you have some gloves on that are pretty thick, like my leather Dainese gloves. And you're putting your fingers on there and you're thinking, wait, where are the buttons I want to press? So, that was a big problem at first. I'm thinking, oh crap, like, I got this unit, how am I going to be able to use it? I have like, you know, I don't have massive fingers, but it's going to be hard to touch these small buttons. So what I did was, you got to kind of recognize the pattern of where the buttons are. So I, for example, put my back two fingers on the back, I'd feel the back two rider communication buttons, then I'd feel the intercom button, and if I put my fingers on the front, I'd feel the front two communication buttons and my phone button. You kind of have to break it down by patterns in your memory of where the buttons are based on feel, because you're never gonna get a real good tactile feel with your glove of where the buttons are. But over time, like after I used it three or four times, I could press any button on the unit perfectly fine. But at first you're like, oh God, I don't know if I can press these buttons. Where are these buttons? But over time, once you develop a pattern of, you know, using your fingers as a guide through the unit when you're on your motorcycle, it'll help you a lot. So you won't have that problem anymore. So this unit is definitely the best bang for the buck on the market. If you don't want to spend $350 on, let's say, a major brand name, but you want a Bluetooth intercom unit where you can ride and talk to your passenger or talk to your buddies and be able to communicate with your phone and use your phone while you're on your motorcycle, for $65, this is the thing to get. If you like this video, like it. If you dislike this video, dislike it. Please leave your comments, questions down below. I'm definitely gonna be posting this uh, product link for you guys to so go check out, read out some of the reviews uh, in the description box. I'm looking forward to the future, guys. Spring is here. I got some videos planned out. I'm really excited. We've been getting more subscribers, more people watching the videos, so it's really exciting times, and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video.